with the vision. Once again, our referee in charge of this bout, AJ Jenkins. And now, introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the red corner, he is wearing black trunks, ripped in gray. He is training out of Corona, California, by way of Compton. He weighs 160 pounds. His record, one win with no losses. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Frankie. Across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing black trunks, terrific in white. He is training out of Saxon's Muay Thai and Van Eyes by way of San Fernando. He is 163 pounds. Tonight, he is making his debut. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Marcos Manzano. Mixed martial arts in the lightweight division. All right, Francisco Ortega, Marcus Manzano, 165 pound catchweight fight. Ortega goes up with a high kick, almost loses his footing. Manzano in that southpaw stance. Manzano in the Valetudo shorts. Push kick misses. Ortega with the venom. Nice low kick return. He telegraphed that attempt. It's probably there if he hides it behind a strike or two. Good one two from Manzana. Both fighters have the option to kick to the body when you're standing mirror stance like that. South Paul versus Orthodox. Yeah, and you see two right down the middle. You're right. Manzano appears to be the more patient of the two. He's controlling the space a little bit better. Yeah. It, to me, it seems like he's trying to find his rhythm, and he's starting to slowly get more comfortable. Yes. Yeah, throwing more shots. Here's to see if that's going to lead to a takedown. Yes, and he There's jumps in, attempt. gets his hands around. Oh, he held the fence, but it didn't help him. Oh, wow, and Ortega up. It's a nice job to get back to his feet, though. Trying to hand fight. He needs to get these hands separated if he can. Turn around, try to get an underhook. Ortega's going to try to muscle him. He's going to use a lot of energy to do that, though. When a guy's bent over like that. Does get an underhook, but Manzano trying for the takedown. Gets a push up against the cage. Good back and forth round. Uh, Ortega is, is the more tense of the two fighters, and you can see him fight, you can see him fighting on every feint. If Manzano would faint a little more, he could probably land pretty clean. Ortega needs to settle in a little bit, and, and I think he has a shot at, at, at winning the battle on the feet. Manzano was comfortable with the distance though and starting to get more comfortable in the ring in general. It seemed like he wanted to go for that takedown. Yes. And he was able to, to close the distance much better once he felt comfortable. He, he actually got it down, but uh, Ortega popped up so quickly. Yeah, he did a good job of popping up. And to, to your point though, using a bit of strength. Yes. Didn't get that underhook back, but Manzano was not able to get him down. So right. Be curious to see how this next round goes. Manzano certainly has a nice poker face. You know, he's able, he, he seems to be the calmer of the two fighters. Yeah, he's looking uh, much more relaxed, much quicker. 
And Ortega switching stances again. He did this once or twice in the, the first round. There's that body kick. See, right when he has him on the cage here is when he should shoot that double. When he backs him up with a couple strikes, then change levels. I'm not sure what Ortega's looking for when he changes stance. Looked like a overhand left. Maybe. Keeps the body from Ortega. And they're switching stance again as Ortega. That's nice timing. Oh, nearly ends up on top. Ortega. He's got to connect his hands here. It's not going to be able to single. do it. Smart. It's there now. If he lets go. Yeah, he's got to use it. Oh, huh? beautiful job. We're in the fight. But how good is Ortega at getting back up? Very good. It's on a finally gets him down there. This one's a little more sticky. He's got to wrap the legs up. Yeah, he's not using his legs to wrap them up. He's got go the hands up. connected though, so does get him down, but Ortega's doing an excellent yeah, job of getting back up to the fence. Like one of those toys you buy your three-year-old that you knock over and it just comes right back <laughs> up. <laughs> Only about 20 seconds left. Manzano on the back with the body lock. One arm in. I don't think he'll get another one before yeah, the round. Ortega's over. spinning. Looks to throw a knee. Now separated, but it's gonna be. Round number three coming up here pretty soon. I gotta give it to Manzano on the wrestling, you know, takedowns. He's not doing a lot with him, but it's more than it's Ortega's more, doing yeah. to him, you know. Yeah, these rounds are scrappy. Francisco needs to, yeah, that's it. Oh, I was going to say, he's really taking the fight to him. Yeah, he needs to bite down on that mouthpiece and just move forward. Over under clinch now. Tries to throw a knee, but he's got double unders here. No, it's an over under, but over -under. he's got his hands connected. He right. shoots down for the single. Pulls the leg away from the fence. There it he is. Uses that to get his hands connected He'll, as a double. He should finish this. Yes. Once the hands are connected, much higher percentage. He might be a little tired. There it is. He's got to keep him here now. This maybe the best takedown that we've seen so far. It's certainly the, the cleanest landing, but yeah. Ortega is wily. He refuses to just relax on the bottom. Not and able to, to wall walk, though, get his back to the cage. Now he's... It's a little bit different. This is the most ground control we've seen from Manzano on any takedown attempt. Yeah, and perhaps here a little bit of fatigue setting in. Right. For both. It looks like he's maybe accepting... Not quite accepting close guard, but not really wall walking either. There's the close guard. A cer uh, surely a sign of fatigue. And Manzano, if he can pass here. Yeah, still he in the half guard, but it's wide open. Right. It's going to allow Ortega to get up. Yeah. And guys miss opportunities to sink hooks. When guys stand up like that, it's a perfect opportunity to put one hook in. But instead, all that Switches, energy. Yeah, and go back to a double. Right. Well, he's got the hands connected. He's, so he's going to go get, down again. Oh. He should go down again. Here it comes. Man, Ortega's takedown. Man, how do you like that? <laughs> Crazy legs. Staying on his feet. Pretty tough. 
There's no quit Ortega. He's trying to do it. Oh, again. finally pulls him away from the wall, gets him down. He might have he might have mount here. Only no. five seconds left to go. It's a good hard fight. Yeah. Good back and forth. Yeah. Once again, let's give both fighters a big round of applause. That's a good fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. We have a split decision. There was the first split of the night. Judge at ringside, Reyes, scores about 27 to 30 in favor of Manzano. Judge at cage side, Shaud, scores about 29 to 28 in favor of Ortega. And Judge at cage side, Jackie Duncan, scores about 28 to 29 in favor of our winner by split decision. about the decision. It was just split, but yep. uh, Manzano takes that one. Yeah, it, was the, it was the grappling that got it done. You know, Ortega showed a lot of heart and, was, and did everything he could to try to win that fight, but it was just it was the grappling overwhelmed him. And arguably did more striking while on the ground, even in a... Even in bad spots. Yeah, right. on the bottom, yeah.